Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchow.com and this is a COVID-19 Vaccine Malaysia update. This is a weekly show where we recap the latest developments of the COVID-19 vaccine as well as the National Immunization Program. Just a friendly reminder that this show is also available in Bahasa Melayu and you can check it out on the Soya Chinchow BM channel by clicking on the pop-up above or click in the link in the description box below. Before we begin, here are some highlighted comments from the previous video. Muhammad Yasir Khan said, I'm a PhD student in the University of Malaysia, Sarawak. Just want to know if there is any chance of opening up the university for students regularly. Thanks for the comment, Mohamed Yasser. The Ministry of Higher Education has announced that fiscal classes for colleges and universities can resume from the 15th of October 2021. The reopening of institutions of higher learning will involve students and staff who are fully vaccinated and is applicable in all states regardless of the status of the National Recovery Plan. For more information, please refer to a university. Next, we have Stefan Alfredson. I'm an expat living and working in Malaysia. When do you think I might be able to travel overseas for a holiday to visit my family before returning to work here in KL? Hi Stefan, thanks for the comment. At the moment, international travel for leisure purposes is not permitted. However, the government is going to announce the SOP for interstate travel as well as international travel very soon. Interstate travel restrictions are expected to be lifted in October once 90% of the total adult population have been fully vaccinated. The next question is from Asura Kishin. When I went for my Sinovac second shot, the nurse had already prepared the syringe filled with the vaccine. Should I be worried since she did not draw the vaccine from its bottle? I had the same side effect as I did for my first shot where I fell asleep 3 hours later though. Hi Asura, you should not worry about the pre-filled syringe. This is done to make sure that the vaccination is done more efficiently and to reduce the chances of error. Before getting the jab, just make sure you get the right dosage. For Pfizer, it's 0.3 ml and if you get a Sinovac or AstraZeneca vaccine, it's 0.5 ml. The Pfizer vaccine, which is currently authorized to vaccinate children aged 12 years old and above, may soon be administered to younger children in the near future. Both Pfizer and Biotech have submitted their trial data for vaccination for children aged 5 to 11 years old and expected to request for emergency use authorization in the US in the coming weeks. In Malaysia, Pfizer is currently the only vaccine that's given conditional approval to vaccinate children aged between 12 to 17 years old. In the United Arab Emirates, the health regulators have given the green light to China's Sinopharm vaccine to vaccinate children aged between 3 to 17 years old. According to the official announcement, the decision comes after clinical trials and extensive evaluation. The approval is based on emergency use authorization in line with the approved regulation. The MySuggestor app now comes with a checkout feature, but what is it for? According to the Ministry of Health, the feature will allow the algorithm to measure your risk of exposure more accurately. This is useful when flagging users for potential casual contact with a positive case. However, if you've forgotten to check out, it won't think that you stayed overnight at a supermarket or a restaurant. It will take this as an outlier and we use the average duration. All MySuggestor users are urged to check out so that you can help to make the algorithm more accurate. According to the Ministry of Health, the AI that's powering the casual contact notification system has been running for more than 200 days. If you got flagged as a casual contact, you need to perform a self-assessment daily for the next 14 days. If you develop any COVID-19 symptoms, you need to get tested for COVID-19. Just a friendly reminder that it is okay if you forgot to check out. The viral message claiming that you can be fined 1,500 ringgit is not true. The Institute of Clinical Research has released a study to show the real-world effectiveness of the COVID-19 vaccine in Malaysia. Based on a sample size of almost 1.3 million individuals, full vaccinations have reduced the risk of infection by 88%, while partial vaccination have reduced infection by 51%. When it comes to ICU cases, full vaccinations reduced admissions by 83%, while partial vaccinations cut down the risk by 38%. Based on a breakdown by vaccines, AstraZeneca has the highest at 96%, followed by Pfizer at 92%, and Sinovac at 77%. When it comes to preventing deaths, full vaccination reduced the risk by 88%, while partial vaccination reduced the risk by 49%. If we look at the breakdown, AstraZeneca is still the highest at 96%, followed by Pfizer at 93%, and Sinovac at 84%. As of mid-September, Malaysia has a total of 14.5 million fully vaccinated individuals. From the total, there are 953 ICU cases, which is 0.0066%. 50% from this figure are aged 60 years and above, and 88.6% of the total number have comorbidity. 
there are 1,445 COVID-19 deaths among the fully vaccinated, which is 0.01%. 76% are individuals aged 60 years and above, and 92% have comorbidities. As of 28 September, Malaysia has recorded close to 26,000 deaths due to COVID-19. Previously, husbands were not allowed to accommodate their wives in the delivery room during the MCO as a measure to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Following calls from the public, Health Minister Kari Jamaluddin has announced that fathers-to-be will soon be able to accompany expecting mothers in the delivery room. However, this is only applicable to fathers that are fully vaccinated and have tested negative against COVID-19. National Recovery Council Chairman Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin has announced that interstate travel are expected to be permitted in October after 90% of the total adult population have been fully vaccinated. The SOPs are currently being fine-tuned and they are also looking into the possibility of reopening international borders. At the moment, interstate tourism is only permitted for destinations that fall under the domestic travel bubble. When Langkawi was reopened for tourism, only fully vaccinated travellers are allowed and they must produce a negative COVID-19 test result before boarding the flight or ferry. If you're residing in KL in Slango and you've missed your second AstraZeneca vaccine appointment, you can now walk in before the 4th of October 2021. Take note that this is a last call as all AstraZeneca PPVs will shut down on the 4th of October. The government has also announced that the dose interval for AstraZeneca between the first and second shot has been reduced from 9 to 6 weeks. According to Health Minister Karin Jamaluddin, the decision was made to provide convenience for individuals that have gotten the AstraZeneca vaccine. As of 28 of September 2021, Malaysia has administered a total of 43 million vaccine doses nationwide. 23 million individuals or 71% of the total population have received at least one dose. Meanwhile, close to 20 million people or 61.1% of the total population have completed their vaccination with either a single or two-dose vaccine. The Klang Valley has the most completed vaccinations with close to 6.8 million people, followed by Johor with 2.1 million and Sarawak with 1.8 million and also Sabah with 1.6 million. That's all for now and if you have any questions, please drop them down below in the comment section and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Due to the rapid developments of the COVID-19 vaccine as well as the National Immunization Program, some of this information might be out of date, so stay tuned to us on soychincha.com for the latest information or watch our latest video on our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from soychincha.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!